Welcome back to our channel and today's topic is all about Renaissance art. Renaissance art movement that is originated in Italy in the 15th century. Florence was a cultural leader in the Renaissance period. The term Renaissance refers to the rebirth of Greek and Roman culture. The architecture, sculpture, painting, and literature. Artists gained prestige no longer anonymous, became celebrities during this period of Renaissance. Patrons, Masinas, finance and protected artists. Patrons commissioned artwork and decided the themes. Kings and popes are the patrons. Medici family in Florence were the most famous and wealthy patrons of the Renaissance. The characteristics of Renaissance art Classicism Emphasis on human figure Realism and expression Perspective Light and shade Classicism, artists, architects, and sculptors studied the art of ancient Greece and Rome and incorporated elements of this civilization like the mythological themes, idealized beauty with proportion, classical architectural elements like columns, semicircular arches, and techniques, the symmetry, simplicity and proportion, abandon of complex aspects of Gothic art. Example of Renaissance painting, The Birth of Venus by Botticelli. The School of Athens by Raphael Sanzio. The Greek versus the Renaissance. Venus di Milo. David Michael Angelo in the Renaissance. The Greek Roman versus the Renaissance. The Parthenon is the most decorated architecture during the Greek period employing the Doric order. The Renaissance The Renaissance architecture employed by Romans uses arcs in openings and entrances. The Villa Capri or Villa La Rotunda by Palladio. The emphasis on human figure. The human figure became very important. Artists rediscovered the beauty of nature and the human body, expressing the optimism of this new age. As in classical art, beauty is achieved by proportion. As in classical art, proportion and symmetry is all, always applied in their artwork. Less modest depiction of human figure than during the church dominated medieval period so most of the sculpture of the renaissance were naked bodies vitruvian man by leonardo da vinci the most famous proportion of human body it is a drawing accompanied by notes based on the work of the Roman architect Vitruvius. It depicts the ideal human proportion described by Vitruvius in his treatise The Architectura. Vitruvius described the human figure as being the principal source of proportion. Vitruvius determined that the ideal body should be eight, high, eight heads high. The Sistine Chapel by Michael Angelo Bonaruti. Realism and expression. One of the big changes in art was to paint and sculpt subject 
realist realistically. This is called realism and involves a number of techniques that make the subject and the background look like in real life. This also means giving subject more emotional qualities and more expression. The sculptor of David David the Shepherd by Bernini The Gothic versus Renaissance See the difference in the painting guys The Renaissance painting is more soft in tonal values and very realistic while the Gothic looks seemingly a flat painting somewhat like a cartoon Perspective drawing or painting a picture such that it looks like there are three dimensions. It gives the illusion that some objects in the painting are farther away than the others. That is perspective. And the most famous The Last Supper was done in perspective. That is one point perspective by the artist Leonardo da Vinci. The School of Athens also employ One Point Perspective by Rafael Sanzio. The Lamentation of Christ by Mantigna. The Sumato or Sofomato Technique, Mona Lisa or La Gioconda by Leonardo da Vinci. This one was famous for an enigmatic face and smile. The light and shade. Renaissance painters used light and shade to add perspective and make it more realistic, help viewers picture the shape of object and to imagine what the objects uh, feel like. It depicts emotions, cheerfulness of a bright day, darkness of a sad day some artists use a strong contrast of light and shade that technique is called chayascoro however it will be reached its peak in the baroque period the school of athens the painting done by Raphael. chayascoro technique saint john the baptist by leonardo da vinci now time to use your brain till if the image is renaissance and explain using the characteristic of renaissance art is that renaissance or medieval is that renaissance the venus and mars is that renaissance Now test your ability to recognize what is Renaissance painting compared to the medieval period painting. Now let's go to the periods of Italian Renaissance and main artist. 15th century or Quattrocento. Main location Florence. Sponsors the Medici family main artist. Brunelleschi, Alberti, Ghiberti, and Botticelli. Here are the works of Brunelleschi in architecture. He designed the Dome of Florence Cathedral and the Palazzo Pitti. This is the inside of the dome. There is a passage and you can even walk. Alberti, the facade of Santa Maria Novella. Any similarities with the Roman Pantheon? Only the pediment, the triangular roof, is the similar shape or form. But the rest are new 
new movement of uh, design called Baroque. Baroque styles employing such curves and different shapes than the classical styles. Ghiberti, the gates of paradise in Florence Cathedral. The famous Venus by Butticelli. Periods of Italian Renaissance and main artist. This time, 16th century, the Cinco y Cinto. Main location, Rome. While in uh, Quattro Cinto in 15th century, the main location was Florence. In uh, Cinco y Cinto, the, mo the main sponsors were the church and the main artist this time in 16th century includes now the precious make that the decorated artist leonardo da vinci bramante michelangelo leonardo and rafael these are the most famous artists and architects during the 16th century in rome including leonardo and michelangelo cinco y cinto Bramante designs the St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. Until now, this church or this basilica still stood in the heart of the Vatican City. Michelangelo, the artist. He painted the interior of the dome of the St. Peter in the Vatican also sculpted David, Moses, and Pieta or Pieta. These are the paintings of Michelangelo that causes him temporary blindness of his eyes. The interior of the St. Peter's Basilica was painted all over with saints and stories of venerations. The Last Judgment, The Creation of Adam, were all painted in the walls and the ceilings and even in the dome of the St. Peter's Basilica by Michelangelo. Leonardo da Vinci invented his fumato technique which blends areas together. He painted the most La Gioconda, The Last Sapa, the Virgin of the Rocks. Here are the Virgin of the Rocks from the left. Raphael Sansu. He painted the School of Athens. Flemish Renaissance and main artist. Low countries. Main innovation oil painting dissolving colors in oil so that they became more brilliant. Main artist Van Eek Brothers, Van Del Weyden, Bos Il Bosco. John Van Eek Paintings. John and Hubert van Eyck, the Ghent Altarpiece. Their style is always or almost or same with the Renaissance. Only the difference is their paint is more vibrant because of the mix of a secret kind of oil. Roger van der Weyden, the descent from the cross, notice guys, the vividness of the paint color compared to the renaissance but the technique is all the same it's all about realism and softness of the figures Hieronymus Bosk Il Busco the garden of the earthly delight 
looks like the Garden of Eden in the modern time, guys. So we're finished. And don't forget, there are questions to be answered, guys, at the end of this video. Alright, class, here are the questions for you to answer. You know how to send it. Your answered sheet paper must be sent into our Google email or hand it in into our Google Classroom. Use white band paper and keep your or compile your hard copy in every quizzes, exam, and activity. Compile it in a brown envelope and submit it after a week. Okay, so number one question about Renaissance. What are some questions? So, number one. What is interesting about Renaissance art? What are the five characteristics of Renaissance or Renaissance art? Why the Renaissance was so important? What was the main inspiration for Renaissance? What is Renaissance? Uh, short answer. This is a very uh, complicated question. So skip it guys. Lakdawan nyo yan. Continue with the next question what are five facts about renaissance and then uh, skip again to the next question what art techniques were used in the renaissance how did art impact the renaissance why is renaissance so important and how does the renaissance influence the modern art of today okay guys so i'll see you on my on our next topic maybe next week thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe and for your attendance by the way just make a lot of comments in every video you can comment two times three times para mapansin and then that will be your attendance so, I gotta go. Ciao.